Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of World of Horror. We're just going to do another normal run with the modded pack, just to see if there's any more content. There probably should be. There's like a ton of just random stuff I haven't seen. I like the normal runs. They feel very normal. Perhaps if we get lucky, we'll get the box cutter and we can get that achievement. Uh, I think I will try to get the real nightmare achievements too but i'm not gonna go super far out of my way because last episode is an achievement episode so without further ado i'll see you guys in the game city of shiokawa japan 1980x something strange is happening in our town robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night people are going missing disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside the rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and dwindling sandy, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world set hand, and you finally arrived in the Dooms Town. Genki desu You know, it's been a while since we played Miku. Might as well go for her. I guess I'll get hunted by the Colts for a nice neutral start. I mean, it's hard not to pick the seventh curse because fucking money is so good. Or not having money is so bad. But whatever. Uh, and I'll probably do Harbinger Doom because that's what I always do. Uh, but I'll get Athu Lashes. Uh, because I've done Athelie Lashith so much lately, I'm not doing its intro. Got Thread of Fate, which is defeat human enemy, discard on use, cost for reason. That's not bad. We could use it on Akamanto if we get that mystery. So, shop for items. That looks good enough to me. School. This will get the History Club. So, it's good. I like the hardware shop. I mean, I also like the Illegal Den, but if we're doing a Harbinger Doom run, we don't have the Doom to be fucking around with getting, you know, allies from the hardware, uh, from the Illegal Den. Got the library notes. We can juice it once. Shadow Shroud is okay. Uh, because we have Athu Lashith, uh, it's actually very okay. We can get our cash money from our little figurine. I guess we'll get... I don't know, that's skeleton vomit shirt. Then we take the bathola, get some experience points. Back to full reason. Alright, let's see. I mean, eels is just the best thing to start with because it makes all the combat for the run less bad. Or, uh, less dangerous. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, they return two cans of soda. Aren't you curious? What weird fish did he bring this time? I saw him carrying some jars inside his apartment. Will you check it out? You will surely recognize me if I do it myself. And we have no weapons and no great way to get cashola. Her prepared item is kind of garbage, so there's no real reason to get the prepared item. But then it's like, do we juice the mystery, the witch's tree twice? That's not really a good option. 
I mean, it's better than fucking getting plus 7% doom, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will Witch's Tree twice. Give me the cash money. Hallucinations? What's this do? Minus one perception. He's not real. I think this is something evil, but I'm not 100% sure. Down to one perception. If we get hallucinations again, I think we instantly die. <laughs> we instantly died. Awesome. That's what I love to see. Fuck me, dude. That's so AIDS. Okay, what spell did we get this time? Seal of Savish? That's pretty good. I think I'll just... Uh, is it good with... I'm not sure if it's worth with uh, Eyeball Man, though. Unfortunately. Also got an empty bottle. Which is nice. Let's see. You know what? I think I'll go for the violent vigil so I don't have to fucking worry about that shit. Vicious verses of a violent vigil. You received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want from you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client and your granduncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. There's an address and a list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, do you decide to check it out yourself? What's the worst thing that could happen? Good question. I don't know, losing two perception, instantly losing? No, this is the worst thing that could happen. Fuck me, dude. Because I'm pretty sure we can't escape. That's absolutely trash. I can't believe it. So we're doing four damage around. Actually, probably... So guaranteed four or chance at six? I think the guaranteed four. Uh, man. Whatever. This is fucking anus, by the way. I guess we could do this, have 90% chance to do two damage, which is probably better for our doom. Uh, because that makes him deal a third of the damage he usually does. Yep, yeah, it's working out good. One more. This is so fucking ass. Unbelievable. Uh, I guess I'll touch study touchstone plus 10 XP. Awesome. Talk to a person. They give me a pamphlet. Clap, clap, bow, clap. Go to the master bedroom. Inspect the foot. Double check. Clap, clap, bow, clap. Clap, clap, bow, clap. Awesome. Treat, minus two reason. Check out the supper, minus one stamina. Awful. And we have our weapon. That's fantastic. Uh, part of me wants to juice my strength, which I know is a lot of doom. Uh, but we can visit the monument, and I don't want to suck at combat. I think any little edge we can get. Because we're going to fight the boss, probably. Yeah, I'll get lost in light. Plus one reason. Uh, this is about as horrible as it could possibly get. I guess I'll... Submerge myself in the blood. Because reason is more trash on this map. Body is missing. Where is everybody? Everybody. 
Just ignore it. Minus one. Reason. If you touch the ball pit, it's a custom event. Uh, you get a curse, which is not great. Which is what it is. Awesome. We got the man-eating plant. It is doing three stamina damage. We can't prep and meet Cleaver. So the best we could get is a 65% chance, or we could get a 100% chance to do two, as opposed to a 65% chance to do four. I mean, 65% of four is more than two. I guess it makes sense to do it. Ugh. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Okay, we just need to hit it. Like, two more times. Because we can do six damage. Dude! What the fuck? This is fucking bullshit. Okay, whatever. It's 2 a.m., so we need to burn an envelope found in study. That's fine by me. Minus one reason, but I think we lost two reasons, so maybe the threat level is just super fucked in this map. Which is fine. Got 2% doom. Now explore the mansion once more. Search the room. Flashlight. That's pretty nice. Oh, we can't. Oh, no, we can't. The uncle has come to fuck our day up. Fuck you, uncle. I don't like you. <laughs> You're a bastard. Uh, I think bracing... 70% chance to hit for 5 damage. You take half as much doom. The alternative is to guarantee do 7 or... Guaranteed do 5 with the 70% chance of doing 5. Actually, I think this is probably more damage, all things considered. Oh, I love missing. My favorite thing in this game. We're gonna need to juice the monument so fucking much. Alright, he's on the ropes, so now he can just desperate struggle and cleave him too. Boom. The contract is void. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the grass, an old mansion nowhere to be seen. Next to you are the other guests, as confused as you. Everything feels like a bad dream. Was the man claiming to be your granduncle really trying to cheat death itself? We didn't get thorough investigation for whatever reason. I don't know why. It just sometimes gives it and sometimes doesn't. You and the other family members finally exit the forest and leave the nightmare of it behind. One thing is certain though, you'll never open letters from law firms from Tokyo. Roads closed. That's fucking god awful. Probably one of the worst town statuses you can possibly get. Drink the bottle, refill the bottle, regain the extra stamina. Boom. At least we recovered some HP. Pretty good. Uh, do we have the stamina to do scissors? I think we probably do. Uh, we're definitely going to level up. Question is, can we fight two enemies? I think we can. Spine-chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he too disappeared too, you decided to look, study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that claims to stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? So we access the storage, get the friend's diary, access the lockers, get the freebie bat. Don't have the key for the locker, which is whatever. 
the wooden bat is definitely worse than the cleaver. So now we just explore the school. We're going to have three events, assuming we get no XP. Oh, that's amazing, actually. Also, the school is fucking max level doom, which is horrifying. Okay, this is the forgotten specimen. It does two reason damage. It has 20 power somehow, even though it's literally fucking motionless. I'm a little too salty. I'm going to turn down the salt levels a little bit. I think... Oh, interesting. The meat cleaver's damage bonus goes to the kick. So if we do 8 damage, and then I'm going to kill it next turn. Cool. Lost two reason. Got ourselves a chicken nugget, which is fantastic. Adrenaline is an amazing combat bonus. That exactly is what we need. Now every combat will be not that bad. For example, Maru is marked by the Scissor Lady. We could do 10 damage to her. Uh, I think it's worth bracing. What's our combat speed modifier? Everything's 15% faster with adrenaline? That's actually ridiculous. Holy crap. Okay. So we'll take one all damage and then get our next turn. She's going to give eight experience points, I think. Which is whatever. Got the chalk. Now I can check the diary. It's triangle and dunk the basketball. There we go. Triangle, dunk the basketball. Triangle, dunk the basketball. Cool. Now I'm going to continue to explore the school. Okay, minus two stamina. That's fucking absolutely horrifying. Or, uh, horrible. Oh, we also got <laughs> a big chunk of our reason lost as well. Cool. Don't think there's anything in storage, so we can just do the ritual. Slap my window. I dare you. It did it. It fucked around, and now it's gonna find out. You take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall, woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. Scissor Lady's doing three all damage, which means we need to brace uh, for the rest of this uh, combat. We're doing four damage around because she's eldritch not a beast not a monstrosity <sighs> okay i'm pretty sure we can desperate struggle to do 12 damage so we just need to survive to get her to 12 but if she does the super saiyan move i think uh that does bonus damage Oh, we've got to throw the bat. Uh, that's real Yikers. Okay, uh, let me see. Can I get two attacks in if I desperate struggle? No. I can just get the one six damage, so that's going to do 12. It's a shame I can't throw the friend's diary. Oh, man. The thing that makes the most sense to throw is the flashlight, which is so fucking AIDS, but whatever. There we go. Scissor Woman's dead. The ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving in nothingness. You find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. You help him up, and both of you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Spine-chilling story of school scissors, ending A. The Scissor Woman is gone for good, or is it? You shudder, knowing the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to try and summon the Eldritch Being. We didn't get thorough investigation for this either? What the fuck? No! 
What? Oh my god. I was gonna say, the only reason, the only like timeline in which not throwing the bottle, I mean throwing the bottle makes sense is if we were to get fucked and get the fucking contaminated water, but I didn't think we were actually gonna get it. This is so fucking bullshit. <laughs> Okay, no more bathing for us. No more bottle either. So we can throw it at our next enemy, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna do... The found footage next, because I think none of these mysteries require going to the forest. So we might as well get it out of the way. And see the damage that Rhodes Clothes is gonna do to us. Freaky feature of found footage. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends of the nearby forest. Now, on the first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man has started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he, and what did the students discover out there? You know, one thing I wanted to check was the neighbor, because the neighbor seemed like it did nothing in challenge mode. Okay, she just fucking doesn't want to join us ever. Okay, that sucks. Do they remove this from the game or something? Or is it just like in Harbinger of Doom, you can't get Kenna? That'd be real fucking wacky if that's true. Uh, we need to visit the mansion twice to complete the side quest. We're going to be visiting the police station a lot. Starting with the mansion. Also, we might as well get the handcuffs while we're here. We're going to have to rest a bunch, probably. If I had to guess. There's the room ghost. We cannot do anything to the room ghost. I mean, we could sever, we could do clap bows, uh, but there's almost no reason to do so. Uh, they said they buffed the XP you get from Banishing Ghost to 20, but that's actually not true. For whatever reason, it's bugged, at least as far as I know, unless they patched it. The Room Ghost is just a giant pain in the ass, as a ton of HP, does a ton of damage. If we were to try to sever, we would do 4 damage, so 8 damage around. We'd have to suffer three rounds, we would literally die, unless we consume the chicken nugget. But, you know, that's it. Shit sucks. If there's one positive to the running, it's that our stats are buffed again. Awful, we got even more doom from the fucking event. Fantastic. Guess I'm gonna request the patrol at the school. So now it's only at 3 and it's not giving us extra doom. On your way into the school, you see someone with a weird mask handing out pamphlets. It's one of your teachers. What's going on? Interesting. What is this pamphlet? You approach the mask's teacher and ask about what they're handing out. I'm spreading true knowledge of our God to the students. Why don't you take a look for yourself? They hand you a pamphlet and you take one. All you see on the page are symbols of a language you don't recognize. Okay. Well, that's horrible. Last thing we need in our run is even more doom. <laughs> the fucking downtown's doomed as well? Okay. These police officers need to start fuck, uh, stop fucking slacking. Help the friend, plus 5 XP. Now that's the last event there. So, do we rest? Uh, it might be worth just eating the chicken nugget and seeing where we go from there, we can get 5 stamina, so we could actually just wait until the last possible moment. We should have enough reason to survive in the forest, because the forest is at base threat level. Uh, so I guess I will do it. Okay, the forest, th I mean the village threat level's increased. Okay, please just be the place. 
Now we get even more damn. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, minus two reason. Also terrible. Destroying the shrine can give a absolute ton of doom. Praying is a perception check or else we lose minus reason. Think the reason loss makes more sense. Okay, we're getting absolutely fucked by RNG. Father Yusugi is pretty awesome. Dude. Oh, I should have read that text. This is a new enemy from the mod. Yeah, there's a giant worm. It's doing three stamina damage. Stamina damage is not really great. <laughs> this looks really cool. I like it. It's like slightly animated in a way that makes sense. Does look like it's pulsating. Art's good. I like it. 10 out of 10. Okay, so we can prep and strong attack. We can't do two medium attacks, so it's the best we can get. 7 times 3 is 21. But we can desperate struggle and do 12 damage. Flesh Dowering Worm bites us. Let's see, so we'd be doing 9 damage with Desperate Struggle. Can we do a double smack redo Desperate Struggle? No. Yeah, we're going to have to just do our old sequence. I'm going to go down to 1 stamina, but it is what it is. The Worm bites us, we Desperate Struggle, and Super... Slash. Got 18 XP. Reasonable ish. We also got a lump of flesh from the worm. Guess I'll get quick thinking and more strength. That is fucking awful. I guess I will take the curse. Cursed signs, that's not that bad. And just take the guaranteed stamina loss. If you try to tab in power, it's like a check to... Gain a spell, otherwise you gain doom. Not being able to deal with it. You grab the tapes and run. You wander aimlessly through the woods for a few hours until you're found by a search party. You'll lead them to the house, but the door to the basement is missing. Got Freaky Flood. That's a pretty bad event as well. It Basically, you have a chance to get a permanent debuff whenever you visit the seaside. It's absolutely god-awful. But it is what it is. Ron reports, of a rancid ramen, out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town, is adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they just can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You're determined to discover what makes the ramen so enticing. Was its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? Uh, we could... Hmm... I don't really have any objects that I super want to discard. Okay, yeah, cool. So you might just have to not get the side quest XP. I'm gonna get closer to the door. Because uh, Call the Police gives 3% Doom. Awesome. Plus 5 XP. I think it's most of the time worth it to just look through the door. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. Oh no, this is the corpse ghost. Man, damn you twisted corpse. It does 4 reason damage? Are you serious? And Severing does fucking... 
Ugh. Does four damage. We could leave an offering to do seven, but seven plus eight is not fucking 18, that's for sure. But if we run, we're gonna get so ass blasted too. We could try clap bow combos, but that can take take up to four rounds, and it's not really gonna give us enough. We can't double sever. Oh, this is not good. Okay, if we burn the offering, we lose two reason, we're down six. Next turn, and it's down to 11 HP. Next turn, we brace and we sever once. Uh, 11 minus four is seven. We're down to four reason, and then we kill it next turn, and then we have no funds, and Jarman fucking kicks us while we're down. Uh, but we could possibly coast off for reason. And I guess if we're forced to rest, uh, resting twice is the amount that it's bad. Yeah, we just gotta do it. This is AIDS, but whatever. Twisted Corpse bites me. It's so not cool. Twists its head in an unnatural way. I twist its head the other way. The corpse dies. Eight, eight XP, are you serious? That is so not, that is not worth it. I mean, it was worth it in our case, but like. Char, man, come on. You motherfucker. Okay, whatever. We've got chicken nugget, so we don't have to rest yet. Um, oof. I think we should take her home and then eat the chicken nugget because the alternative is losing reason. All right, in's mouth look, not too bad. We also got 10 XP. Eating the chicken nugget doesn't count for the dumpster dive, by the way. But that's fine. <laughs> Less 2% damn. Absolutely horrible. Oh, whatever. What does you don't have time for it do? Oh. If we... Uh, if we got... If we went in to buy something, we would have gotten pancakes from that event, which would have been okay. Not really that good, but you know. The pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What do you send to the laboratory? A mere day later, your friend rings your door. Her face is pale and in shaky hand, she holds an analysis sheet. You usher her in and bolt the door. You feel ill looking at the charts. While they couldn't identify some of the particles, they did discover a highly addictive drug in the broth. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. A week later, police and officials stand where the ramen restaurant used to be. Nothing remains but a gap in the street and aimless, confused customers. You'd like to believe that was the end of it, but snippets and newspapers from other cities unsettle you. Brief articles about an exciting new ramen restaurant opening up, and its mysterious owner keeps showing up. You can no longer eat noodles without feeling ill. Bang. Old God stirs, Heart of Darkness, not... The worst. Uh, looting is pretty good. We got it really, really, really late, which is sucky, but it is what it is. I'm gonna get knowledge. So now we don't have to worry about uh, losing stamina in the lighthouse. Actually, before we get too deep, uh, what are the lighthouse events? So we are fighting Takashi Saiyan, VR, Dex, Charisma, so we're gonna lose three reason. Plug. And no, we're gonna lose six reason. Fuck me, dude. Okay. Might need to rest a bit. We're probably gonna have to do some monument looping, but it is what it is. At the very least, we didn't get fetid fumes, so it's not like completely horrible to monument loop. Macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. 
The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He's collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind is snapped. He's decided it's time to make one of his own, using unfortunate students' bodies as materials. It might be worth fighting him. This does bonus damage against human enemies. He is a human enemy, I'm pretty sure. He's not a human or monster. He's not Eldritch, as far as I know. We have 11 strength and adrenaline, so there's no way that we are not like an absolute powerhouse, even with the mediocre meat cleaver. And we'd have the bottle to throw, and we could ha handcuff him as well, if he's human. Which he probably is. Probably not going to do the side quest. I'm going to try to avoid it, at least. Let's see the monument. Two reason. Two funds. It's so much more fucking expensive. Are you serious? Okay, we rest once. Now we're in slightly better shape. Through an alleyway, you notice you approach the backside parking space of a building. You see a man wobbling around with a weird hat. You approach the man to see if he may need assistance, but they turn their gaze towards you and seemingly sober up. Uh, this is the Vampire Prince. He looks absolutely hilarious. He's got a traffic cone on his head. It looks like he's wearing a Gamberson? Or maybe it's just like a sweater. He's doing three all damage, which is quite a lot. We have a 90% chance to hit him, and of course he's a vampire. Let's see how. Can we get two attacks and a brace? No. We have a 90% chance to hit? Okay, we can brace and do a 10 damage to him. Yep, I think this is good. <laughs> the Vampire Prince hits you with their traffic cone. I have no fucking idea who this is. Maybe this is like an NPC in Vampires the Masquerade or something. That's fucking good. I like this enemy. They are very funny looking. Anyways, they're destroyed. They get 14 XP. That's a very reasonable amount of XP. And we steal an extra one funds from him, so Jarman is not going to take us out. Oh no, I should have... Uh, we got 1% extra doom because of the fucking... I didn't please station over to the school. That sucks. Uh, we might be able to use the police station to further monument loop. Okay, we're fighting the young witch. Young witch is doing 16 damage. That's absolutely horrible. Luckily, we can do three hits. Two with the meat cleaver, light, that's 10. And then plus 7. That's 17. She has 16 HP. Pretty sure she's weak to slashing, too. No, she's not. She's weak to bludgeoning. Anyways, we got... <gasps> We got the box cutter from the young witch. She's the one who has it. Oh my god. Sharp yet fragile. So it's a perception weapon. Oh man, I want to fucking break the blade. We can break the blade on Takashi Sand. This is the god tier weapon. I think it breaks. I think that's its whole gimmick. Also, the Young Witch now gives 6 XP, I guess, which is absolutely horrible. But whatever. Oh, we're so doom screwed. I think the fucking. Okay, this is minus funds, this is minus stamina, this is probably minus reason. So I'm gonna take the stamina. This is a really interesting event. Pretty sure that's space game. Which is cool, because uh, that looks like a reference to Yagathi Egg's ending as well. I think we're gonna have to rest twice. If we want to win this fucking mystery. And we're just going to have to go to the monument. Hope. 
minus four reason. <laughs> oh, that's not good. We need seven reason for the fucking lighthouse. If we if we juice the monuments, then we'd need to rest in the lighthouse four times to make up for this. God damn it, Outer Enemy, you're such a fucking piece of garbage. They nerfed it too much. It's almost unusable. Um, let's see, I'm gonna confront the stranger, because we need less stamina than other stuff. Oh, I accidentally gave ourselves plus two doom again. Break the window. Oh, we could distract him with the in's mouth look. I will. Uh, you show him your mutation and he stops. You're the one I was looking for all my life. The girl suddenly springs life behind him with a deafening shriek. She jumps in the mad jander and starts choking him. Her la his last words will chill you to your bone. The sea will claim you back. Police officers found you. Find you a few hours later. No trace the mad janders found, but you'll sleep a little better tonight knowing the other students are safe. Words of the jander echo in your head. Now you can't help but shudder hearing the sounds of the waves crashing on the beach and the sounds of something getting out of the water. School curfew. Awesome. It's all the mysteries done. So now we can go to the lighthouse. I'm going to equip the box cutter. Boom. We don't have the doom to spare to rest. So we must climb. We have enough reason, which is all that we need. Let's connect the faulty plug. Try to reason with her. Minus three reason. Find a switch. Now we can level up. Doomed already doesn't really give us anything. Guess I'll get knowledge, and I'm going to level my perception just so the blade is slightly better. Because we're going to fight Takashi Sand now. Okay. 6 times 5 is 30. I'm going to throw the meat cleaver at him just in case, though. What? This didn't break the blade? Okay. Get our eardrum schlorped. Uh, I investigated... The school scissors is the second one. The dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? Can I just discard it to try to get the achievement? No, there's no fucking way that would work. Looks like it'll break very easily. I fucking used it six times. That's so not true. Okay, so that achievement's going to be harder than I thought to get, but whatever. As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you're relieved and collapse on the floor. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You manage to stop the ritual awakening the elders hold yod, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right again. Congratulations, you are safe for now. Oh, that was really, really close. I thought we were so friggin' screwed when the friggin'... Whatchamacallit, the dude. Bad man. <laughs> showed up. Glitch Magician? Yeah, that's the one. Just barely hung in there. Oof. I'm guessing... I feel like the box cutter's accuracy lowered with each swing, but I'm not 100% sure. It might just be like a random chance that it breaks, or maybe there's just like a hidden counter or something. Or maybe strong attacking breaks it? I'm not sure. Uh, I think the young witch is a school enemy, so if I wanted to get that achievement easily, I think the way to do it would be to just, like, chill in the school over and over until you get the young witch, defeat the young witch, and then chill wherever until you find enemies, do that over and over until it breaks. 
yeah, that's my prediction. I might do that next episode. I might not. Who knows? Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more World of Horror. Goodbye!